has to do with them. He believes that compromise could take place within the next 24 to 48 hours, but if it doesn't, the Republicans are willing to stay and work this out. One of the questions to get out, the, the, the families have needs that I just described. Uh, we've made the proposal, which we started on Sunday and put out there, uh, we're listening to governors, mayors, uh, nonprofit organizations, uh, educators, and the rest. This is what families need. They made suggestions to the language. We're making, um, uh, agreeing to most of it because they're not, they're not that different. So we don't need 48 hours. We need to just make a decision to help families right now but because we have to operate made. not as business as usual, but in an emergency status where we have to get the job done. But if the decision isn't made, will you stick around? I'm not sticking around because they don't want to agree to language. We're, we have, we're agreeing to much of what they have to present. Look, first of all, Mitch McConnell called me and said, you work with, with um, the secretary, that's it. Now the House Republicans are saying they're not in the loop. No, we sent them the language. It's not about that. I mean, it's about putting people and families first. So, I mean, everybody could have a complaint about this or that. I said, save it for another day. We can have an after-action review about how we got into this situation. Save it for another day. Right now, we have to find our common ground, work together to, um, uh, to get this done as soon as possible, because we have other needs. We will have to address this issue further. And it's some things that they might want in this bill that aren't there. There could be another bill shortly down the road. We didn't do everything last week with 8.3 billion dollars, but we did a great deal and now we're doing more and then we're fully prepared to do more.